Destin, okay, you probably know he runs a bot channel for the bots. Sometimes he covers news for the Sony ponies. He is also sus. He says that Activision might be preparing for the deal to fail or die west. We're gonna roll this. Alright, buckos, you might want to really clench your butt cheeks because this bruh. is like a bruh moment, okay? You remember when we had like 10 gamers, uh, toxic gamers, these gaming companies would like to call us ass, right? Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new because Microsoft Activision deal gamers likely to sue to stop the merger. And we had about like 10 toxic gamers. Uh, some of them were Sony ponies. I believe one or two were Xbox, but I could be wrong. wrong. Maybe there were no Xbox in this situation, but I remember there were some like couple of PC Master Race guys. 10 gamers got together and they were like, okay, so we're kind of feeling cute. We're gonna go ahead and see Activision. So that situation, it, we're still awaiting trial for that. Apparently they're gonna go in court very soon. We're gonna hear about that in the future as well. But another disaster that happened recently is this, okay? Sony, Microsoft set for courtroom style clash at Activision Blizzard deal hearing. And the situation here is oh, this, shit. guys. Oh, UK CMA, they came recently, right? They offer three different options to Microsoft. I, I wanna know your opinion, whether you're an Xbox or Sony Pony or PC Master Race. Guys, we have been at this situation for a solid year. Can we get the games right now? But this situation has been so wild. UKCMA has blocked the deal, okay? No bait, they have blocked the deal, but not canceled. They have not canceled the deal. Two different things, right? They have blocked the merger and they have provided three different, I gotta skip this gameplay, man. Like. Uh, here Bruh. they have provided three different options to microsoft right now they're number one they're saying that the deal will be fully canceled okay number two they said that you can get activision but you you cannot have call of duty Bruh. and third of all you can get the entire activision package guys you you can have everything that you want you can even have Call of Duty act, uh, Microsoft. You can have entire Activision, but you cannot make Call of Duty exclusive. Bumbaka! That's essentially what they said. You need to give it in writing that you will never, ever, in a million years, you will never make Call of Duty exclusive to the Microsoft platform, ever. That includes Xbox, PC, uh, Game Pass. I, I, I don't think Call of Duty will come to Game Pass if they go that route. But now Microsoft is uh, doing helicopters with their bullies, right? Like. They they are looking to defend the situation. February 21st, Microsoft to defend Activision deal at you hearing on February 21st. This is where it's gonna uh, like happen. Destin, okay, you probably know he runs a bot channel for the bots. Sometimes he covers news for the Sony ponies. He is also sus. He says that Activision might be preparing for the deal to fail oh, shit. or die west. We're gonna roll this. There have been several very interesting updates in the Activision Blizzard Microsoft merger, including one that could indicate that Activision is preparing to drop out of the deal. That's right. <laughs> uh, the whole thing might fall apart after all, but Microsoft is saying everything is fine and they will be presenting findings quite soon. But places like Berkshire Hathaway are selling even more of their stock. We Damn. got a lot to go over, so let's dive right in. And the situation right now is that, yup, they got like five days from now, depending on when you're watching, they might even only got one day left. And this is where they're gonna talk about it. In fact, they're gonna like potentially come out with a good enough argument that will either support or not support their claim. We gotta wait for that, guys. Check this. So first things first, uh, there was a report about something that Activision is doing over on Seeking Alpha. This was brought to my attention via Idis over on Reset Era, but it's very, very interesting. Here's what Seeking Alpha says. There's some speculation that potentially the bank was hired for activism defense. Activision hired a bank. CNBC's David Faber said on the Business Network on Tuesday, he said activist Elliot has been mentioned as a possible name. Faber explained that an activist could be involved to push the video game behemoth to use their cash if the deal with Microsoft is blocked by regulators. So they would use that money to potentially push the deal forward or for something else. Damn. The Activision CFO told investors on Monday that the company could use its cash for a dividend buybacks or even mergers and acquisitions, according to CNBC's favor. They were also said there remains a glimmer of hope that Activision Microsoft could potentially allay the UK antitrust regulators' concerns by agreeing to sell a division or possibly reaching a deal with Sony, though he said both scenarios appear unlikely via Seeking Alpha. So why would you hire an Activision defense? Well, there are a few thoughts on that. And here's what Ida said. He said, basically, speculation on my part, but is the Activision Blizzard deal getting ready for a divestiture or abandoning the deal? Now, the Damn. divestiture actually makes sense. Why would they be staffing up on that? Because potentially in the UK, they might have to break off the Call of Duty branch or break it off to an independent uh, section and then have that place handle Call of Duty and how it's You guys think that Microsoft will, would want to get Activision without Call of Duty? I certainly don't, don't think so because 
Sony is fighting for Call of Duty. Microsoft is trying to acquire that. Both of them are doing helicopters with their release. Both of them are trying to do, uh, trying to chase a pom pom, guys. Never chase a pom pom, okay? Pom pom can lead a man to dangerous places, okay? Look what's happened to Andrew Tate. He was chasing the pom pom, okay? He was chasing the pom pom. Don't do that. <laughs> not good, Bruh. not good. So that could be one outcome. There are different reasons to hire an Activision defense team on the MA. This is what Ida says, among others. One, because you're going to change the terms of a deal already announced. Two, because you are going to divest assets to a third company. And that's what we speculated would happen with the Activision deal, that they're going to divest in the UK and have another party handle the Call of Duty situation. Or three, because you were going Damn, to demerge a previously announced deal. When something like that happens, you are going to get a lot of unhappy shareholders. So you need to defend from different legal tactics. Yo, I unhappy shareholders just mean a bomb -a -god. That's what it means, guys. They'll use to abort the change that you were making to the original plan. Maybe it's just a backup plan, but if true, it's an interesting development. Now that's via Itis on Reset Era. So it does seem like there is a potential that Activision is staffing up to bail on the deal. They could be uh, stocking up on cash to oh, make shit. sure that they are able to do whatever they need to do to make sure that the EU and CMA are happy with the outcome. Yep. Or, like you said, the whole deal. Man, like, this is truly insane. Fu Yanqi actually made this article February 21st, guys. Going through, but here, here's the update from Microsoft. This is oh, from over on Reuters. People will be very happy I said it right for once. Uh, Microsoft will make a last-ditch effort to defend its $69 billion bid for Call of Duty maker Activision Blizzard in front of EU and national antitrust officials at a closed hearing on February 21st. The U.S. software company said on Tuesday the company asked for a hearing after receiving a statement of objections from the European Commission warning about the possible anti-competitive effects of the deal. Now, Microsoft yeah, everybody is... Everybody gather on. Okay, gather on, gather on, gather on. Guys, 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 guys. Pump the brakes, okay? Get them dogs. Get them dogs saying woof woof, okay? If you're a Sony pony, I want your thoughts on it. You think the deal will go through? If you're an X-Bot, I want your thoughts as well. You think the deal will go through? If the deal doesn't go through though, I think Microsoft will go crazy. They will go bozo. They will get all the bimbos together. They will get all the bozos together that are working currently at Microsoft. They will just come up with a plan. They will plan the situation. They will plot something else and they will plot to buy someone else. And if they do buy someone else, who is it gonna be? Is it gonna be Take Two? Is it gonna be uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. GTA 6? Is it gonna be EA? Because both EA and Take Two are smaller than Activision. Activision is 69 million, 69 million. Are you guys out of your goddamn mind? Everybody's saying, like, hey, Call of Duty shies up, but Microsoft. Sony, both of them know, like, y'all bimbos, y'all bozos, we still buying that game. We complaining, but we still buying the game, games. So they know that y'all bimbos, y'all bozos be buying. So it's very suspect, man. If this deal doesn't go through, they're likely gonna buy someone else. And I think Take-Two is gonna be looking pretty, uh, pretty good, okay? It would be looking like a snack, uh, as uh, some kids would like to say. ...is expected to offer the remedies microphone. after the hearing. So that's the first time we've heard of a timeline for when remedies will be offered. So the closed hearing is on February 21st. It is right around the corner. And then we're going to hear about what Microsoft has proposed as a solution yeah. shortly thereafter. Click on this video on the screen because Dr. Disrespect Friend, he went bozo at Activision or click the video on the left because yup, UKCMA actually said all of this to Xbox. This recently happened. Check this videos out guys and I will see you right there.